So today I'm going to show you how to use a Excel to calculate different probabilities here in a two-way contingency table. So to set up, make this a little bit bigger for you guys. <coughs> I have simple yes, no, yes, no, and I've simulated some data. So we'll just put it in like here. Then I sum the rows. So if you're going to set this up for any type of use, I would highly suggest using Excel to sum the rows for you <coughs> in the columns. So got the probability of yes, yes. So this one right here would be that number divided by your grand total here. Yes, no, this one right here. <coughs> so I'm choosing yes is the first one. This is the first one, this is the second. So no yes equals that C2 divided by grand total. No, no, C3 divided by the grand total. So the probability of yes given yes. So the probability of this value right here, given the fact that I have a yes already, would be the row total or the column total. So 35 divided by 80. Yes given no would be 130 divided by 370. <coughs> probability of a no given a yes right here. So 45 divided by 80 and a no given a no, 240 divided by 370. So an N junction, uh, yes junction no would be equal to the probability of no, so no, no, times the probability of yes given no right here. So you can do that for yes, junction no and no junction yes. So probability of no no times no given uh, probability of yes given no. Oh, those are the same ones. I am sorry. So that should be <coughs> equal to the probability of yes and the probability of no given yes. And this should be the probability of no and yes given no. Now the unions <coughs> will be equal to the probability of your yes event plus the probability of your no event. minus the probability of no given yes. No, no junction yes, sorry. Not, oh, sorry, not no given yes, it's no junction yes. So this part right here, minus this. And the no union yes is equal to probability of yes plus the probability of no, minus the probability of basically between the two, which gives us 42%. So the good thing about this is if I start changing numbers, <coughs> everything recalculates, which is kind of what I want. So that is really quickly how you set up Excel in order to calculate these two-way contingency tables.